Okay, so this is paper, uh, the higher level paper of Junior Shark Maths 2023, question one. Okay, so Zena's uh, car has a screen which shows the temperature in degrees uh, Celsius, correct, and there's a whole number. When she was going to work one day, the temperature was 18. Uh, you'll notice here it's correct to the nearest whole number. Okay, so that's important. Okay, so it might be 17.9, but it's going to be rounded up to 18. Um, write down three possible values that the actual temperature could have been when Zena was going to work. Okay, so as I said, it could be 17.9. It could be 17.8. In fact, it could be any value from 17.5 up to 18.4. So I'll make that one 18.4. And there we have it. So that's the first part completed. Okay, second part. Let T represent the actual temperature at a given time. So the actual temperature would not be a whole number. So the actual temperature might be 17.6 or whatever. Uh, fill in the missing values in, to show the range of possible values. So possible values of T. Okay, so as I said, if it's going to be 18 all the time, it could be at the lowest point, it could be 17.5. And that could go up to, so it's less, to, so that 17.5 is less than or equal to 10. And this is going to be 18.5. So 18.4 is allowed, which would be less than that. 18.5 wouldn't be allowed because that would round up to 19. So all you're doing there is getting the full list of uh decimal values between 17 and a half and 18 and a half uh, which would get rounded to to this guy up here 18. okay if you were to graph the actual temperature t over the course of a day would it be more appropriate to graph t as an element of the natural numbers as an element of the integers or as an element of the real numbers well, if it's any day in any time of the year, of course, the value could be negative also. So that would immediately discount. Um, that would immediately discount the natural numbers. Uh, it would be OK for integers, but they've asked you for the actual temperature. So the actual temperature means you need to say if it was like 4.2, you need to literally call out. 4.2 in the graph so integers won't work there either so real numbers will work because they can be negative and they will give you the accuracy that you need okay so that's our answer t is an element of the real numbers uh, because uh, t may be negative or positive and uh, real number includes decimal points, which is what we need here. Okay, so that's the reason, and that's it for question one.